Hello everyone, welcome back to Antwood Movie Mania and today I'm going to be showing you my full VHS collection now I did have a lot more years ago but unfortunately due to DVDs coming out I'm sure like the rest of you ended up getting rid of a lot of them I had a lot like Fright Night 1, Fright Night Part 2, Dog Soldiers and a, a lot more films but today I found a lot more like the ones that I had left in a loft so I'm going to show you them all today so I'm just going to go through them. all the horrors I will show you one by one I'm going to show you the front and back cover of all my horrors and then the rest I'll just show you the front cover so here we have West Craven Scream which came out in 1996 there's one and then we have Scream 2 I did have Scream 3 but I've unfortunately lost it Unfortunately, we have I Know What You Did Last Summer, starring Sarah Michelle Gellar, Jennifer Lawrence, Freddie Prince Jr. It's a good film to have. I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, with The Fisherman. We have Nicholson and Michelle Pfeiffer in Wolf. Which is an underrated where I will film in my eyes. I will be doing a review on this coming up soon. The Urban Legend with Gerard Leto. Is Joker coming up in Zack Snyder's Justice League next year. But Bram Stoker's Dracula with Gary Oldman, Winona Ryder, Anthony Hopkins and Keanu Reeves. Which is probably the best Dracula film out there, I think. Which can't be really unmatched. Okay, go down to the next shelf. We have Silence of the Lambs with Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins. There's Hannibal the Cannibal. We have Jaws, directed by Steven Spielberg. Came out in 75. With Roy Schneider, Robert Shaw and Richard Dreyfuss. With the shark called Bruce, it's probably one of the greatest shark films ever to be made. American Werewolf in London, which has the best werewolf transformation ever to be seen on film. And I don't think that'll ever be replicated. I'll keep going. Oh, we have Tom Cruise in Interview with the Vampire, came out in 1994 with Brad Pitt, Antonio Banderas, Christian Slater. And Kirsten Dunstan. We have The Craft. We've got The Howling, which is another great werewolf film. I did have Dog Soldiers, but I don't know where that's got to. We have Wesley Snipes' Blade, which is probably a great vampire film, as many of you would agree. Blade is just a badass vampire hunter. Vampire in Brooklyn starring Eddie Murphy, which is another Wes Craven film, which is really hilarious if you've seen it, so you know what I'm talking about. Here we have From Dust Till Dawn with George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino and Harvey Cartel, Juliet Lewis, which is like, it's just one of them films, isn't it? That, you just don't expect it to be a vampire film at the end of it, but it is one of them films where you can watch it over and over because it's hilarious. And it's meant to be serious at the same time. We have Spawn, Director's Cut. We have The Crow, City of Angels. Dracula Dead and Loving It, which is a horror comedy with Leslie Nielsen, Mel, that with Mel Brooks, which I'm sure you, if you've seen it, you've probably laughed your head off at it. Final Destination, what Species Two, Species One, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein with Robert De Niro, which is really good. As I say, I did have a lot more films, but unfortunately I've got rid of them, which I really regret doing. I've got the Friday the 13th mask there. 
So now I'm just going to show you all of my normal VHSs. I'm just going to show you the front cover. I'll go through them all. I've got Mortal Kombat Annihilation, Mortal Kombat. I've got quite a few uh, Jackie Chan films here, so I'll get through them. Jackie Chan, my son, which goes behind the scenes and shows you how everything's done. Rumble in the Bronx, which was Jackie Chan's first big break in America, which really like got his name noticed. That's a really good film. But Twin Dragons. I've got Steven Seagal, Out for Justice, probably one of his best films. That and Marked for Death, or Hard to Kill. Super Cop, Police Story 3, Legionnaire, Van Damme, Jackie Chan's First Strike, which is classed as Police Story 4, got Stallone, Daylight, got Armour of God, now I've seen this on eBay a few months ago, and it went for over £50, so I'm not getting rid of that, got Jackie Chan, Mr Nice Guy, Armour of God 2, Operation Condor. Dragons Forever, which was the last film all three of them starred in. There's the three dragons. But Stallone, Cliffhanger, which I think is getting in the process of being remade. We've got Batman Forever, starring Val Kilmer, which is a good one. So we've got Spy Hard. We've got The Incredible Hulk. The Pilot, which is really good, if you like The Incredible Hulk. Groundhog Day. Highlander, which is a really good film. Stakeout. Independence Day. What have we got here? Robin Hood Men in Tights, another Mel Brooks film. Dragon, Bruce Lee story, another good film. Got Tim Burton's Mars Attacks. Got the Lethal Weapon trilogy box set. Good. I'll show you the few. Got Maverick, which is Mel Gibson. We've got Chubby Brown, which is a who's an English comedian. If you don't know him. National Lampoon's Loaded Weapon 1, which takes the mick out of Lethal Weapon. City Slickers 2, The Legends of Curly's Gold. We've got Van Damme's The Quest. We've got X-Men. Beverly Hills Cop 3. The Fifth Element. Another Mortal Kombat with a different cover. Very good. We've got The Shadow with Alec Baldwin. That's a good film. If you have never seen that one, I'd recommend that. I've got Congo. I've got Universal Soldier with Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren. I've got Nowhere to Run with Van Damme again. I've got Sudden Death with Van Damme. Under Siege, another quality Steven Seagal film. If you've never seen that one. Definitely recommend that. We've got Stargate, Star Wars, and the Mighty Ducks. We've got Cinderella, which is an adult panto with Jim Davidson. You can watch the full thing on YouTube, I think. Which is really funny. We've got another Chubby Brown. We've got Stallone in Rambo First Blood, which is a classic. We've got Van Helsing. With Hugh Jackman and Kate Beckinsale. Got Ace Ventura with Nature Calls, which is hilarious. Right, what have we got up here? We've got Sphere. Drop Dead Fred with Brick Meal, which is funny. Got Field Dreams. I'm mostly into my horror, but these are just all random. Like, most of them are random. Lost in Space. Got the Matrix Revolution. We've got Labyrinth. Got the Jungle Book. Judge Dredd, Stallone. Got 
Aladdin. The Matrix, which um, they're bringing a Matrix fault next year for HBO Max, so that'll be good. Don't know how they're going to do that one. I've got the Matrix Reloaded. I've got a VHS light up of Jurassic Park. I've got the original Jurassic Park, which is probably one of the best one out of the lot of them. Broken Arrow with Travolta. Got the Lion King. Dune, which I'm sure they've just remade that. Starship Troopers, which I think they're going to remake that as well, actually. Got Pitchback with Vin Diesel. Liar Liar. Mel Gibson. Payback. Me, myself, and Irene. Highlander Endgame. Carry on Cleo, Hocus Pocus, which they are bringing out with Hocus Pocus too soon. The Empire Strikes Back, The Italian Job, and Kroll. Well, that is it. That is my full VHS collection at the minute because, unfortunately, I did get rid of a lot of them. But if you have seen a film there that you did like and you do want me to do a review on, I will be doing a couple of reviews in the coming weeks. But if you see a film there just let me know and I'll I'll do a review for you but as again my name's Antwood Movie Mania and if you have any questions or comments then leave them in the box below and I'll see you in the next one see you later bye